what's up you guys today's build is going to be a pit bike trike I've been wanting to do this one for probably five years I've had this frame sitting at my parents house been a long time coming I've got should be every part that I need to get this thing going so hopefully no delay in that uh, this axle and these wheels are from the trophy cart uh, these are actually the spares from it and then this was the first axle I bought that wasn't wide enough so I'm just going to use it for this project. Um, got a motor from a Honda ATC70 so it will be a true Honda I suppose. Um, we've got 16 inch wheels for the back, a new 10 inch front wheel for the front instead of a 12 incher because I really prefer the look of a 10 inch front wheel. I'll go ahead and set up the time lapse and we'll start building this thing. Okay, I'm trying to get a jig set up so I can get equal lengths on my arms and make everything true and square. Um, basically, I'm going to cut a piece 8 inches off of there, and another one 8 inches off of there, and then I'll cut a center piece that's you know, however long. That way I can tie it in and have some strength back in it. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough clearance to clear the rotor, and the sprocket's a little bit smaller than the rotor, so that won't be an issue. Go ahead and get those pieces cut.
Okay, so I've got the swing arm extension all tacked together. Uh, I took the axle apart because right now I am starting to build the rotor and sprocket assemblies. So I've got a Go Power Sports hub, an adapter plate I had a buddy cut out on a plasma table. Okay, now you guys can see I've got these hubs from Go Power Sports. But what's happening is they're just small enough to where I can't drill holes for either the rotor or the sprocket. So I had my buddy cut these out on his plasma table. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is cut this down. So I just have enough to weld this plate to this hub. And then I can drill these holes out. Um, they're centered on the holes for each one already. And then I can bolt the hub to Rocket. That way I can, in the future, be able to change out rotors or sprocket sizes uh, easily, not have to be weld a whole new setup. So, go ahead and get this set up, start cutting and welding, and we'll just keep cranking away at it. Sorry for the wind noise, it's getting kind of crazy out here. That's it. Alright, it's the next day. I've got the motor up in there. I've got the rear swing arm is all tacked together with gussets on, I don't know if you can see it, but I put gussets under the brackets for the carrier bearings front and back to kind of reinforce it. I've only got it tacked because I wanted to get the motor in there and get the chain on and just make sure everything's true. We measured the heck out of it, but just want to be safe on that because I don't want anything to be all crooked all over the place. Right now I'm trimming the side cover uh, since this came off an ATC 70 it's got the pull start on there which I'll probably leave I don't, I don't really care <laughs> kind of cool makes it more of a true three-wheeler anyways um, but this big chain guard guide kind of thing that they use on that frame uh, gets in the way of mine so I'm just gonna trim it to fit like a regular side cover and then we'll be able to bolt that on there came up with a plan for chain tension. Uh, these are the original chain tensioners off the back of the axle. There's a tensioner and there's the axle through hole right there. I'm gonna lob this off because I don't need it so I can use these and basically I'll get this all set up so that it's pushed all the way, let's see, all the way forward, put my chain on as tight as I can get it and then I'll weld these to here and then I can use the same bolt that was on the pit bike, pushes through here, so the more I tighten it, the further it pushes this back and tensions the chain. And then it also already has a lock nut on it so I can hold it in place, so that'll work perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those off and get those welded on here too.
All right, I've got the swing arm all welded up. Uh, I put caps on the end to keep those from, you know, getting water and mud and whatnot in them. It's not the prettiest, but it'll be plenty strong. It's all square and even still. Um, sorry, there's a lot of wind today and everyone's out doing stuff in the neighborhood. I've got the chain tensioners on there as well. So these are good to go. They're kind of hot still, but that worked out pretty sweet. So all I have left to build on the swing arm is I need to weld on a bracket to hold the rear caliper because it's not gonna work obviously like the standard pit bike one was. So I need to make a template, cut that out, weld it on there. And then I can paint this and it'll be done and we'll get on to the more easy stuff left, just which is mostly just bolt-on assembly. So very much looking forward to that. Kind of over fabricating for the day. So set this back up, get those parts made, keep cranking away at it. All right, I've got everything welded up. I've got the brake um, caliper mounting bracket right there. Also ended up being able to utilize the factory one that it slides on. So gonna get this thing all painted and uh, when I can fully assemble it, start building the bike.
okay I've got the exhaust welded up I just post welded it because I'm working with some thin crappy Chinese metal I'm sure so um, you know nothing beautiful no Morgan Clark TIG or nothing but it'll work it'll be strong enough I'll paint it with some uh, high temp black paint and we'll be good to go next step will be well I kind of want to hear how this thing runs so I think I'll get the gas tank on there real quick with the new petcock for out the kill switch see if I can fire this thing on for a minute Kill switch works. Sounds actually pretty decent. I was worried this muffler was going to be too loud. It's actually kind of muffled and cool still, so should be able to ride around the neighborhood a little bit. Um, all right, air out the garage and see if I can't get a couple more things done. All right, you guys, I had to cut this video in half because it's already a half hour long. Uh, so that's it for this one, but don't worry, I'm going to upload part two at the same time. So if you want to see me finish this thing and take it for a test drive, just head over to my channel and find part two. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.